Malaria is an infectious disease caused by a parasite that can infect both humans and mosquitoes. When the parasites inside are red blood cells, it produces proteins and puts them on the surface of the red blood cell, and those can be detected by our immune system to kill the cell which contains the parasite. One group of proteins are encoded by a group of about 60 genes called VAR genes. The parasite can switch which of its 60 VAR genes are expressed at any given time on the infected red blood cell. And because the VAR genes are really different from each other, when you switch from one VAR gene to a different one, the antibodies can no longer recognize the new protein. We were interested in how the parasite generates so much diversity in its VAR gene set. We found that as the parasite divides inside human red blood cells, the VAR genes continuously swap genetic information between each other, and that's a process called recombination. Through this process, it's able to make new VAR genes by patching together pieces from existing VAR genes, like making a mosaic. For the first time, we were able to quantify how rapidly this process occurred, and we found that every parasite life cycle Around one in 500 parasites will have undergone recombination to produce new VAR genes. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but a typical infected person with malaria might have up to a billion parasites circulating inside their bodies. So one in 500 parasites undergoing VAR recombination, you're talking about millions of newly recombined VAR gene sequences produced every two days inside every single person with malaria. And with 200 million people suffering from malaria every year, that's an enormous amount of diversity that the parasite can generate. So it's no wonder that our immune systems have found it so hard to eliminate this disease.